is going on? Everybody, this is Striker, welcoming you to episode number 234 here of the good old Minecraft Let's Play. Now, in the last episode, we kind of left off in the middle of nowhere here, so I'm going to have to kind of get myself recentered as we start... Ooh, I actually... Oh, hi, Mr. Bat. Anyways, we're going to have to go back through here and uh, see where we were and continue our progress inside of this mineshaft. Now, funny enough, I was wanting to play this the other night, but I couldn't because I didn't want to record it. I just wanted to play Minecraft and do a bunch of building stuff, but I couldn't do that. So let's go ahead and do all of... Ooh, this is a gigantic vein of iron. Let's go ahead and do all of this mineshaft exploit. Holy cow, does this ever end? It finally ended. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and do all of this mineshaft exploration. That way I can get back to building if I ever so choose to do so. Now, there we go. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I had extra junk in my inventory, and I did. I had some gravel there. Okay, so we came from this way. Or at least that's what it looks like because of my torch. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oops, wrong tool. Again, wrong tool. Look at how much faster it gets broken. Maybe you should use the right tool, sir. Did I hear something? That sounded funny. Might have just been the zombie. There's definitely a dark pathway that way, but I'm not sure if that's where we came from or not. Oh, hi, sir! I also have this chest down in here that's full of uh, junk that I don't need, to be completely honest. So I might end up coming down here and grabbing that chest as well, because like we have done before, we kind of had a halfway chest where we kept a bunch of stuff. So we'll see what happens and see if we need to come back down here for both chests or just the one chest, because I'm not really sure if there's anything in that one that's worth keeping. I mean, there's a couple of rails, uh, some beat-up armor, beetroot seeds, which we already have and can make plenty of if we farm beetroot. So, I mean, there's really no reason to come grab it. I guess maybe the activator rail, but that's, that's not all that expensive to make either. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't have those other chests or... Um, carts on me though, so I can't like stack the chests in my inventory, because I left those at the other halfway chest. Okay, so I see a spawner there. Let's go ahead and light up this dark corner and pop a light up there as well. Let's grab a singular piece of iron, I like it. Uh, I don't like this situation here, so let's see if we can plug this hole up. There we go. Now, it's nice because it probably was blocking some of the spawns here because of how bright lava is. I just don't want to step in it. There we go. I will take that. All right, fantastic. We'll go ahead and pop another torch in here, though. Just so we know where we're coming from and everything like that. Got a ton of coal here. Coal is actually, even as silk touching it, is taking over my inventory. So we might have to abandon grabbing coal. I don't know if any of those can fit down through here, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna go and pretend like they're not there. It'll be fun. It'll be fine! Okay, same thing again. Let me get rid of this gravel. There we go. Just... just in case. <laughs> just in case. I was thinking about it, thought about maybe leaving it, but I'd rather not get hit from behind by a spider into some sort of hazard such as lava or whatever. Go ahead and plop a torch up in here. This block is just, these, these, well, these two blocks, rather, are just inconveniently placed here. Right, so it is good that we have so much to explore down here, because I'm pretty sure this is the third episode of being down in the mineshaft, which is pretty freaking awesome, guys. It's not, it's not very common that, one, we find a mineshaft. I think this is, like, the third, maybe the fourth, that we found here throughout the series. Um, but... We don't typically find this much, this much adventure down here. We typically end out of uh, things to do. We end up out of things to do pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and take the corner approach to this bad boy. Except he didn't follow me. Did he get stuck somewhere? Stuck? Nope, he's not stuck. He just wasn't moving. Okay. Uh, just to better move myself around, let's see if we can find a way to plug this water up. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be that easy to do, unfortunately. Gonna have to get out some stone here. Ah! Wrong block. And gravel's not going to help me. There we go. Okay! So we got the water out of the way, so we're good. Hello, Mr. Spider. Gotcha before you could hit me. I like that. 
Okay, that was a little dead end there, so that's not too much to worry about. I always like putting torches down in those little nooks and crannies there just to keep things from spawning, especially creepers, because we've had quite a few incidences uh, where we're, yeah, we've had some pretty bad luck with creepers. Good, good, yep. There was a cave spider that was over here as well, and I just saw something walk around the corner. Hello? Okay. Got them before he jumped. That's always the hardest, is defending when they jump, because typically they're going to end up hitting you, even if you have some pretty good reflexes. Go ahead and pop out that block and continue our adventure forward. And it looks like, as I say, it looks like this is probably going to be the end over here. Now, it doesn't mean that we're out of stuff to do. We just have to make sure that we have thoroughly gone through here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of torch movement, and we'll eat some steak. Just waiting for this lava to go, that way I don't lose any of the blocks that I'm going to spend mining. The amount of coal we're bringing back from this adventure, though, is pretty good. It's going to keep us going for quite a while, we actually might be able to use it for part of a build. I've been kind of throwing around the idea of using it uh, as part of the castle area, so we might be able to use some coal blocks as a, a darker accent block instead of just the normal lighter color with the cherry wood from the acacia wood. The cherry color from the acacia wood. I guess it should be specified, because it's not cherry wood, it is acacia wood. Okay, is there any anything else? That looks like it's unexplored over there. Ouch, that looks like a hazard. See, he put me on fire because of the lava. I tried to grab my water source twice and failed miserably. Okay, last bit of gravel that we have. Is there any other block? Nope. Fantastic. We'll just go ahead and put all of our mob drops here together in one line. I am kind of, oops, wrong thing. I am kind of trying to keep my inventory pretty decently organized. Uh, it just makes it better moving forward, especially when you get back to where you're going, you know, back to the castle area or wherever. Holy darkness, my old friend. Uh, anyways, it makes it easier to put things away once you finally get to where you're going. Okay, I didn't want to really deal with that area, so let's go ahead and do this. Stupid bat! He's bats, I'm telling you what, man. Oh, come on, I had a fence in the- ooh, that was a straight up zero frame lag. I like it. Okay, so this is an area that we are familiar with, or at least have been to. I'll grab this iron that's here. Where are we even located? How low are we? We're at 21, so we're just above diamonds. So if this can get lower, I know that area that was dark, uh, the area that I said I didn't really want to deal with right now, might be able to lead us to some diamonds, because I'm not sure. That is theoretically low enough to expose them. I didn't mean to mine that block up there. <laughs> Give me all of that. If I'm taking my time to grab it, I want it, because it's not giving me any XP because of my silk touch. We have to break it later to get that XP. Okay. I like gold. Gold is nice. Gold is actually pretty rare, or at least so it seems throughout this whole series. So I'm down for gold. Grab the iron at the end of here. Lighting everything up as we go to keep ourselves safe. The amount of bats down here is a little abnormal, in my opinion. This is actually a, a cave and a mine shaft inside of one another, the way that they had spawned. This is pretty this is pretty interesting generation. This actually might not even be a single mine shaft. This might be a double mine shaft, just based on the amount of uh, just cave through it and the amount of mine shaft that's around here. So it might actually be two mine shafts that got fused together by the way that the terrain generated out here. But it's pretty cool because we found this at the end of our strip mine, or at least through one of the tunnels. Uh, typically for the strip mines, at my old place I used to go like five to ten torches and then call it quits because I was just trying to find diamonds. But I mean, even around here, outside of trying to find diamonds, I'm also trying to find some adventure because, you, you know, you never know what's going to be around the corner or if you're going to want to go exploring or whatever. So it allows me to kind of see the world from the underside and uh, see if there's any adventure down here. Case in point, we have a mineshaft to explore. Okay, now this is that dark area that still has none of the stuff despawned from that we need to take care of. And I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. Probably this right here. Give ourselves a little bit of room to operate and throw a little bit of a light source down in there. 
Okay, so we got a creeper down here. Well, he intercepted the shot, that's fine. We gotta wait on the spider. Hello? Oh, there he is. There he is, okay, cool. Go ahead and hit the skelly. Skeletons down. Creepers down. Okay, we're good. Now we need to move in and see if we can knock this out. There we go. Okay, that was dilemma number one. I kind of like this little area down here. It's nice. Oh, I missed. I missed again. There he is. Skeleton. Skeleton down in one shot. Perfect. See, this is definitely a cave. This isn't part of the mine shaft anymore. But yet, there's still tons of mine shaft up and over here. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about this generation. I, I'm seriously considering the fact that this might have been a cave and mine shaft fusion, potentially a double mine shaft kind of situation. Uh, since we're down here, this is likely going to fall when we mine it up there. We'll grab that. All right, we can come back up here and grab this bit of coal that I left. I see some iron over there on our right, so we can go ahead and snag that as well. And we're getting there. We're almost at the end. I think no matter what, at the end of this video, uh, whatever mineshaft is left, theoretically, if there is any left, I will go ahead and take care of on my own. And uh, we'll come back together in, I don't know, some sort of area. <laughs> Eventually. You know. Uh, okay, so that was that other chest that we had. This is just a lighting glitch. I thought that might have been a way to explore. We're good. Let's plop a torch in here. Let's say I thought I saw one. Ah, yeah. What? You were like eight feet away from me. How did you hit me? I know I'm quantifying Minecraft, which is a metric style game in feet. All right, just deal with it, okay? I can deal with it. Can you deal with it? All right, so we've definitely been on the other side of this. This might actually be the end here. This might be the last bit of mineshaft. Not 100% sure, but it could be. Because we've been pretty thorough in our exploration. We've gone around and kind of checked every corner, and did everything possible to keep ourselves successful and hopefully not lost in this gigantic mineshaft. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Alright, now I do see another cave spider over there, so that means that there's either another... Ooh, hi, zombie. Uh, either another spawner, or he just uh, kind of ran away from the spawner that was over here. Nice, got ourselves a carrot. Not really needed. I'm pretty sure we have a carrot at the uh, castle area. And if we don't, oh jeez, wow, that inventory. Uh, and if we don't have a carrot, then I can just grab one from my main settlement area, because we already have them. I will put all of that together. Now that is where all of our mod drops are. Okay, cave spider. Looks like we've been exploring here. I'm gonna get lost at that intersection, I already know it. It might actually just be worth my time to skip corners, <laughs> honestly. Because theoretically we were on this way, that's why I placed the torch there, not trying to violate the system and confuse you guys. It is nice, though, when you keep track of your torches, you know, all of the torches on the right or all of them on the left, that way you know how to go backwards. But when you go into things that are this expansive, it, it can be kind of hard to keep your way. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this coal, and I think that that's it. At least, at least I think it is. So see, this is on the left, this is in the middle. That's on the left, so now we're going backwards. Left. 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 And then again on the left. So, yeah, it loops back around, unfortunately. So this is where the, the torch system kind of fails itself, is due to the fact that it's kind of hard to track these torches sometimes, <laughs> especially when you get into large areas. So I am definitely, definitely lost down here. Nope, I explored down that way. We didn't build up or come down to this area. Trying to find my way back out of here. I will find my way. Don't, don't you worry about it. I'm just, I'm just kind of confused as to where the heck I am. See, those are on the right. 
left, left and then right. Uh, yep. I am lost in the mine shaft. Oh wait, hey, nope, we're not 100% lost. Oops. Not 100% lost. We at least remembered the chest that was here, right? Uh, is there anything that I can grab from this stack? Absolutely not, okay. Well, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna find a way to get myself, as well as all of those goodies, back up to the surface. So I appreciate you sticking with me while we were lost down here in the mineshaft for the last little bit. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.